Don't let your metrics become targets because this is bad for your business. Metrics and KPIs are a really powerful tool if they're used well. However, if they become targets, they lose their effectiveness and they sometimes drive the wrong behaviors, behaviors you don't really want. A great example comes from a Russian fable um, where basically um, this boss of a nail factory wanted to boost their performance and he said the best way to do this is to set targets and measures. So he came in one day and said, I want you to produce as many nails as you can. And if I come back a month later, we will, let's say that the number was a million. I want you to have produced a million nails for me. So he went away, came back. Indeed, the factory did produce a million nails, but to make their life easy, they only produced the tiniest nails possible. So the boss was very annoyed saying, I can't sell these, they're only tiny. So he then shifted his, his focus, designed new targets, and this new target was, let's say, produce a thousand pounds of nails by the next time he came back. So the factory got busy, he returned a while later, and then what he saw surprised him because he basically saw one big nail dangling off the roof of the factory that was a thousand pounds. So this for me illustrates that sometimes targets when they are metrics, when they become targets, drive the wrong behavior. And I've seen this in so many instances, in so many businesses and, and organizations. A great example is the National Health Service here, the NHS in the UK. They have been given government targets. Every hospital now is put into leak tables that are determined by those government targets. And one target is around emergency services. So in ER or A&E departments, they set a waiting time target, an average waiting time target that shouldn't exceed four hours. And if you do this, you are then sliding down the leak tables. And if you go too far down the leak tables, someone will take over the hospital and, and hopefully manage it better. The challenge with this is that I've actually seen the implications of all of this, where this target now is not seen as something that doctors and nurses regularly look at. They identify what they need to do differently to improve uh, the waiting times and deliver a better service. This is seen as a target that they have to hit. So we've seen this, uh, what we've seen in, in, in real life is a, a phenomenon that's called ambulance stacking, where basically the ambulance drives to the hospital. They then leave the patient in the ambulance if they have time. So they're checked in later. So the four hour timer doesn't start as, as early as they can. The other thing is that they started triaging people and basically anyone they couldn't treat within four hours, they would then admit them for overnight observation. So they get a tick in the box, they meet the target, but actually what this means is that this is costing the hospital more money and the patient has not received the treatment that he or she should have received. And indeed, I was working with one hospital trust here in the UK and I overheard some of the nurses talking about a particular patient. This was a pretty sad story. That was a patient at the end of her life and was a cancer patient, but she had a stroke. This is why she was admitted to hospital. And they now need to figure out what do we do with this patient? Do we send her back home because there was not much left for her in terms of her lifespan? or do we send, give her re rehabilitation? Do we send her to a hospice? And because all of the decision-making took a long time, what the nurses basically talked about was how they could get rid of this patient because they were in breach of this four-hour target. And for me, this is so completely wrong that when these targets drive the completely wrong behaviors, the discussions shouldn't, should never be around that. I've seen this in police forces where they are given targets to say, this 
you need to reduce the burglary rate or you need to um, improve the conviction rate of people. And then suddenly this then becomes the focus instead of actually the focus should be we want to reduce crime. If you want to reduce crime and you see this as a target, actually detecting more crime, which is probably something police should be doing, is against your target because if you detect more things that are going wrong in the community, your crime rate goes up. Or I've seen, again, a conversation oh, I overheard where a senior police officer was briefing some of the other constables and they were saying, okay, we need to sort out burglary and I want you to focus on multi-occupancy burglary because what happens is if, you, if we solve this case, because they're all classed as individual burglaries, if there's a house with three parties living in it, we get three tick boxes instead of just one. So again, this for me is really badly wrong. And this is, that there's a law that is called the Goddard's law that now says that when a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. And what I help organizations do is create the right measures where we look at measuring the value rather than the things we can easily count and where we address the cultural issue where the measures then become sources of information. They are not something that you will be assessed on where they just become a tick box exercise that you need to tick because if someone gives me a sales quarter and say you need to make so many phone calls, you need to have so many customer visits, I can deliver this very easily even and have just filling my diary with calls and meetings that I know will never lead to a sale. So how do we shift this culture to one where actually I set my own targets, I want to drive better performance, I want to improve sales, and the information then helps me to make better decisions. If you want to learn any more about any of this, I have a lot of articles on my website they talk about how organizations do this well, how they, how they design the right indicators and create the right cultures that will really help to drive performance instead of drive the dysfunctional behaviors that, that are basically driven by setting targets instead of metrics.